Hello guys, it's Rad and uh, welcome to the channel, welcome to Radko Tarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising weekly tarot reading for February 11th to February 8th, um, <clears throat> 17th, excuse me, 2019. So uh, this is the deck I'm going to use, a, a traditional reader white tarot cards and now while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again that that is going to be a, a general reading for Cancer Star Sign and uh, for that reason it's going to resonate in a different level with every single different uh, Cancer. And uh, also quick announcement guys is that uh, during the month of uh, February I have made uh, the prices of the services I'm providing much more accessible to those who really need them which are people in trouble really are uh, much more affordable so until this moment if you kind of wanted a reading with me but you couldn't afford it have a look right now at my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and maybe this time around uh, you're going to find uh, these pricings um, affordable and uh, you know basically acceptable so that being said, uh, going to the spread first, let me cut the cards and uh, the first one, the first card that we do have for cancers, for cancer, this is going to be the emperor and this card refers to the uh, core of the situation. The second card that we do have, this is going to be the negative approach you can take toward the situation arises, uh, that is going to be the queen of pentacles. Followed by the third card here, which is the positive approach that you can take or the capitalization of um, the situation here marked with the Emperor. And the fourth card, it is a, about the final outcome. Should you follow the guidance of Tarot in this spread, the final outcome is always a, a card of growth. So lovely. Okay, um, the first card once again, that is going to be the Emperor, followed by the Queen of Pentacles third card that is going to be the um, king of cups and the last one we do have the ten of swords so it's it's quite of a week for you cancers and uh, especially for those uh, which are kind of like uh, losing grasp upon their uh, upon their endeavors and upon their things this is going to be a, a major major week where you are to establish back control upon your life upon your relationship and upon your career as well now the thing here uh, with uh, these cards is that it will require as well your devotion okay it's simply things aren't gonna happen on their own accord and uh, uh, basically what what happens at the end or how productive things are going to be at the at the end is going to um, measure according to your efforts that you incorporate in either career wise or uh, either relationship wise now that is displayed here with the first card that we do have which is the emperor card and the emperor uh, it does point that throughout this week you will be able to establish structure into your things uh, structure could be as well translated into a, a very powerful plan uh, and if you follow that plan step by step the success of your endeavor is imminent but also the emperor uh, points for a, a leadership and not at the last place reliability people need to feel that you are reliable either for the proposals that you are going to get relationship or career wise or simply they need to feel you that you are the leader they need in either of those endeavors and as uh, soon as you incorporate those qualities into your things uh, you will make such a structure in there which is going to allow much more personal freedom and is going to make you face the uh, usual and ordinary daily ups and downs uh, with much more ease. So what we can see here with the Emperor is that this week for you Cancer is going to be a very busy week where uh, you will kind of take on the responsibilities you have, you're going to take on the challenges and you are to create your early, small, but with an option available to grow empire. 
the accompanied card with uh, the Emperor that is going to be the Eight of Wands, uh, the Eight of Cups, excuse me. And Eight of Cups really adds a very beautiful shade here as we do have an active enemy. So what we do have is that you are abandoning the positions of just going with the current and whatever happens, happens. And uh, throughout this week, you really take on the matters in your hands, exerting your control, doing what you want or what you think is right, ruling with iron hand and uh, thus establishing uh, much more predict predictability into your endeavors and according to this card as well, moving to a much better, better perspect perspective, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, but <clears throat> definitely you are going to feel much better as soon as this control, as soon as this plan of yours starts kicking in. And uh, in case you are now into a position of the doom and gloom, you are going to see that actually things are not as bad as you think they are. It just requires a little bit more strong backbone of your behalf. So uh, this is for the first two cards. So what we can see for that week is that, um, well, God help your rivals because you, you, you really are going to show how capable you are with these couple of cards. And as well, you, you're really going to show yourself as a leader. And it is important here to know that one leader needs to show the capabilities or the qualities that one has, which are making them strong. No one needs to know where your pain lies, okay? Because as soon as someone sees that you are have weakness, not that they necessarily going to use that, that weakness, excuse me, but... Um, <clears throat> What we said here is that you need to show yourself reliable and reliable people are showing no weaknesses whatsoever. That doesn't mean that you aren't going to have any, but you will do a, a damn good job covering them and not showing them to the people and not allowing anybody to take advantage of them. So uh, that leads us to the next card, which was the Queen of uh, Pentacles and displays the negative approach toward the situation. So that is about being sedated and being also overconfident, being self-absorbed and being greedy. These are the things that you should uh, try to avoid throughout this week. With the Queen of Pentacles, um, there is that feeling which one feels that there is still what can be uh, worked over into a, a current matter. And uh, for that reason, one could find themselves constantly thinking of an opportunities instead of seizing those opportunities, okay? So with this card, you got to be also a very agile uh, mindset-wise, if I may express myself that way. So you can foresee where that, uh, where that opportunity of growth comes around and uh, take advantage of it. Otherwise, constantly thinking about it and what is going to be the best course of action here may deprive you from really seizing it, okay? Also with the Queen of Pentacles, it's uh, once again very important to be generous when we do have this card, okay? So you should not be self-absorbed, you should not be overconfident, but if someone asks you for a help or, or someone comes around to you for a, a guidance and even protection, you got to give it to them. Once again, you got to show yourself as an emperor, as a leader, and one emperor always tries to do what is best for, for its people and for the empire. And uh, for that reason, guys, uh, what I'm trying to say here, Cancer, that ultimately uh, the fruits of your labor or the fruits that you're going to bear from all this that we're talking about right now are going to be about power. So you will become much more powerful than you are right now. But uh, the, the, the route that you need to take toward this power doesn't come through you. It comes through winning your followers. And for that reason, you have to be very generous and uh, simply you need to, I can't say really listen to them, but more like taking their, um, their pain and as well their, um, not wisdom, but uh, suggestions uh, under consider <coughs> consideration, excuse me. And the next card 
that we do have or the shade that uh, the these cards has the additional one which is the knight of pentacles uh, basically uh, you need to always leave a room for a, a new endeavor it is what these cards are pointing uh, <clears throat> and always keep on improving yourself instead of sitting into one place. The Knights of Pentacles, uh, it's a card pointing that uh, one should incorporate slow and uh, very steady approach toward one set goal, okay? But in this case, this is the thing that you should not do. You need to always be open for additional goal of yours. Are you going to attend to them throughout this week? That is not an important but it, what is important into, is to settle your structure around the versatilities of the goals that you can uh, achieve career-wise or relationship-wise as well. Which leads us to the next card here, and that is going to be the King of Cups, which is the best approach toward the situation. So what the King of Cups is, a, a very responsible person, or you need to be very responsible person, also capable of deep emotional feelings toward those which are under your wing. That is very important. Not toward everybody, but toward those which you either use for your goals or they are involved into your situation. As well, the King of Cups asks you to have balanced and professional judgment. It's not like you should not feel anything, but when it comes to deciding um, a course of action, because you're going to be the one calling the shots here, guys. And uh, before deciding uh, the best course of action, either into career endeavor or relationship endeavor here, uh, you have to be very uh, quotes in quote professional about it and kind of very aware of the subtlety in the human nature. <clears throat> so basically you, you should not be stubborn. And this card points that you always, always need to give a helping hand should someone ask for it. And again, consolidates uh, my... Um, statement with the previous cards that whatever an opportunity arises you at least at least have to examine it and then make your balanced decision before because making a decision that you aren't going to take it without even examining it it's not a balanced decision it's a stubborn unyielding decision of some sort of uh, yearning so it is just you know, you know, I don't know exactly the English word, but uh, I don't want to use the word stupidity, but let's say it's immature uh, made decision that way. The accompanied card here, uh, that is going to be uh, the chariot card and it points that it, that is going to be quite of a challenge for you. I mean, the whole week, but also the chariot card is very favorable for leaders. It does point that you are going to be quite capable to push whatever the week presents to you, whatever the week asks you to take control on and develop it any further to a point where it becomes indestructible. You will be able to take on your... Um, responsibility with a, a full sense of maturity and uh, basically that will breed a lot of confidence uh, into the people that are around you into the people that uh, are following you as well and on top of that the chariot as a shade here uh, it kind of um, how can i place it it displays the preparation for a, a big jump moving on forward, either career-wise or relationship-wise. It is basically you are accumulating that energy, that power within you, which is going to be released when the right moment comes around. And definitely with these cards, should you be balanced? Should you show compassion to those which are following to you? Should you be helpful? I mean, not turning, not bail, bailing on a, a helping hand. You are definitely going to lead a, a massive, massive force um, further into the future as soon as this uh, week uh, develops. And uh, should you follow the advice of uh, Taru here, Cancer, how the week is going to develop, it is uh, the um, Ten of Wands. So Ten of Wands is about carrying a, a very heavy burden, but that is only if it is a neutral card 
or it is into a negative position. In a growing position, the Ten of Wands is about an awesome opportunity coming around, which will, of course, require a, a huge amount of devotion and a huge amount of a concentration as well, and, as, and kind of like a, a lot of efforts. Because it will involve other people, all right? One or more of those people. And everybody needs to kind of like put their position in such a way that everybody needs to be pleased from. So it will be kind of like a, a playing the game of thrones. <laughs> if I can uh, compare it with uh, with something in a, in a way that you can understand me. But what the um, Ten of Wands is going to reward you with, truly, that is power total and full dominions over your things, your responsibilities, over your relationship, over your career position or over your business, depending on which field those cards manifest for you to a such extent that it will be only you who really calls the shots here and uh, for some of you which are expecting more initiation from the people that are involved in that could come as a, a bit of um, a, a time of poignancy because you will expect someone to initiate here and to make a uh, independent decision for themselves but they will always come to you to ask for advice and to ask you is this good to do is this what I am doing going to be a good for us uh, in case it is a relationship or in case it's career? Am I performing well? I, I plan to do this in, in that project. What do you think? And so on and so forth. So everybody will come for you for a guidance. And uh, that is basically the curse of being powerful. The great power comes with a, a great responsibility. And the next card that is, uh, we have the moon card. So uh, that that creates a, a active enemy so all that power that you're going to accumulate here guys is going to consolidate you and basically the moon card it is one more confirmation that you will have a, a total control upon your faith career wise or relationship wise simply nothing will be left here by the chance and nothing will be hidden from you as well of how that endeavor of yours either career or relationship wise is going to grow further than that um, you will uh, not daydream because daydreaming is bad uh, nor some gossips or uh, some surreptitious actions will be able to cut you off guard it is simply you will become a very very strong person in uh, in this field that these cards manifest and once again they will manifest in a different field depending on what kind of a situation you are um you are finding yourself at at this week february 11th to february 17th 2019. So simply that was uh, the tarot reading for you cancers and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, once again I um, want to remind you that uh, if you want a private reading now is the time to uh, take one as the prices are severely reduced for the um, month of February so I can make myself accessible for almost everybody and especially for those who truly truly um, need guidance so yeah basically take advantage of it and uh check out my website my website have a look at the prices and you decide are they um accessible or not so yeah that being said see you around bye